Let's begin with a word of prayer and we'll move right along into today's lesson. We thank you, Lord, for this time we have to learn and grow. We seek to do the best we can and add to what we know. We love you, God, with all our hearts and to others' love we show. Pleasing you is our goal. Now to our lesson, we should go. In Jesus' name, amen. All right. Hello, boys and girls. Welcome to Heroes Bottom School Academy. My name is Mr. Lamb. And I will be walking you through fourth grade English, week number 33 and day number two. All right. Um, that content may be found on page number 194 of your workbook. So if you've got your workbook over there, please turn to that page. You are going to see that content right over there. If not, you're welcome just to watch the board with me and maybe, maybe later you can order your copy. All right, so today is gonna to be about the grammar lessons that we normally do. We are gonna be doing our grammar class today, and we are gonna be trying to differentiate between the appropriate time to use two pronouns, all right? Two pronouns, whoever and whom ever, all right? So when is, when is it gonna be appropriate to say whoever is going to do this or whomever is going to do this. When is it going to be appropriate to say that? Well, we are going to be talking about those kind of things today. Well, remember from last week, we started differentiating between who and whom. Can you remember from week number 32, grammar class, we started talking about when to use who and when to use who. Well, we are going to try to apply that logic to clear the confusion between whomever and whoever as well. Okay, are you ready? Watch with me. All right, so let us try to understand when to use whoever versus whom ever. All right. So use whoever when you are referring to the subject of a sentence, i.e. the person doing the job. So for example, you can say whoever dirties the floor, whoever dirties the floor, right? Uh, Swoops. All right. So this whoever over here is talking about the subject that's going to do this verb. Well, what's the verb over there? Dirties and potentially swoops, right? Whoever dirties. Well, you can ask you can you can ask the question right now to validate what we're talking about. Who dirtied the floor? He dirtied the floor. Okay, so you're going to ask yourself, what kind of pronoun is this? Is this a subject pronoun or an object pronoun? And you are going to know that this is a subject pronoun. All right. So definitely you are going to use whoever in this situation. Whoever dirties the floor, sweeps. All right. So let's look at whomever right now. Use whomever when you are referring to the object of a sentence, the person receiving the action. Let us see these examples over there. So, we will serve dinner to whomever you wish. All right, all right, let's take a look at that. We will serve dinner to whom ever you wish. All right, <laughs> now let's take a look at it. What is the subject of this sentence? This is the we. What's the verb? Serve, all right. What is the object of this sentence? The person that this, <laughs> the other person that this particular person is talking to. So you can see that obviously this, this statement is referring to somebody. It said, we will serve dinner to whomever you wish. Well, that you uh, is uh, 
whomever. <laughs> Uh, well, it's not it's not stated here directly, but the person that this this uh, particular statement is being written to is going to be the person who is going to be approved to eat dinner. Well, so who do you want to serve dinner to? All right, uh, we will serve dinner to uh, Jude. All right. Because you want us to. All right. So this is another flavor of that sentence. So you can see that there is an implied object Jude in this first sentence over here. So if you want to refer to that object Jude in this sentence over here, which this is the object. All right. So that's the object then you are going to use whomever, all right? The pronoun whomever in this sentence over here is referring to a person that we didn't mention his or her name in this sentence. And it's gonna be referring to a Jude or a Sally or somebody else like that. It says, we will serve dinner to whomever you wish. Who is that whomever? Well, whomever is the implied object in this situation. And if you break that sentence further down to amplify that sentence, you are going to see, well, that whomever is actually an object. So I am going to use the pronoun whomever in place of the name of that person. All right. So um, that's how to use whomever and whoever. You use whoever when you are referring to the subject of a sentence, the person doing the action of the sentence. You are going to use whomever when you are referring to the object of the sentence. In other words, who is receiving that action? Okay, the noun or the pronoun upon whom the action is being directed. All right, great work. Good stuff. All right, so please go ahead and turn to that page, page 194. Uh, you are gonna see additional tips over there and examples potentially to help you better retain this content. All right, I wanna thank you boys and girls for joining me today. Remember, God cares about you and so do we. Bye-bye. I'll be your hero's body, and as you study with heroes born, I will be your friend.